The link to form expression is in the category deep links and has a result of an app data type. The purpose of this expression is to create a deep link to a specific view. The link to form expression has a number of optional parameters. One of the mandatory parameters is the view name. This is the name of the view you want to link to. It's important to note that this has to be a form view. The next two columns always come in pairs. The first is the name of a column that you want to populate. This needs to be a column that's in the table associated with the view you specified. And the second is a column value. This is the value you want to populate. These, the column value, is always mandatory if you have a column name. It's also important to note that you need to match the type associated with the column. If you don't, this can cause errors as well. You can have as many of these pairs as you want. According to the documentation, you don't need any of these, but the app sheet editor will give you an error if you don't have at least one. After you have as many of these pairs as you want, you have a final optional parameter of the app ID. This is the ID of the app you want to link to. If the view is in another app, you have to include the ID of the app you want to link to. If you leave this blank, it will default to the current app. The result of this expression is a deep link that leads to the specific form with the specified columns filled. Let's look at an example. Here we can see the link to form expression with one parameter. As this shows, it's expecting more information from us. So let's include one information for one column. In here, we can see the user form is indeed a form. This is important. But I'm going to go to the schema and go to user. Here we can see the options for parameters to fill. I'm going to go ahead and fill in user email. I need to match how this shows exactly. And then I need to have information. Now, I can leave it blank like so, if I wanted to, and actually would accept this. But I'm going to go ahead and include this here, a fake email associated with Crew Tech. Finally, after I have both of these, if I wanted to include a first name and last name, I could by doing this and including a new first name. And this shows you how we have pairs for each one. But like I said, I'm only going to include one for now and I'm going to show you the final optional parameter. The app ID is the ID of the app you want to link to. You can find this in the URL of the editor here. The ID is app name and it's everything after the equal sign and before the and for Sam. I can copy these and paste it here, and it will know to look at this specific app. Now, since this is the app I'm currently working in, I don't have to include this. This would suffice and take me to the exact same place. The user form view within this app with the user email pre-populated to fake at crewtech.com. Like I said, I can have up to the number of columns in the actual table that can be filled in. I hope that this was helpful. If you would like to learn more, we invite you to check out AppSheetTraining.com.